Welcome back, TCYFL football fans. We join in progress the 3A featherweight Big Ten championship game between the WKC Panthers and the Waukegan Bulldogs. Waukegan Bulldogs now have a third and three from just about the 42-yard line. Cross handoff. Looks like going left. Stopped in the middle of the backfield by a host of WKC Panthers. Brings up about a fourth and four. Waukegan Jetson to punt the ball. Looks like number seven from WKC is back. Looks like Devin Grasso is back to receive the punt. There's a timeout on the field by the referees. Referees timeout. <laughs> nice punt by, by Waukegan as it drove down. It looks like it's going to go inside the 20. WKC decides to do it and swarmed over by the Waukegan Bulldogs. The WKC Panthers are the number three seed with a six and three record coming into today. They'll start on offense as the Waukegan Bulldogs, the number four seed with a five and four record come in looking to win their Super Bowl here also. Good yards, good yards. Looks like a gain of about five. Number 26, Nathan, wow, I'm going to have time problem, problem pronouncing that one. Drisnowski is back to, is calling the signals for today's WKC Panthers. They snap the huddle. Under Saturn. Tight formation, heavy left. I formation. Run right. Swarmed in the backfield by the Waukegan Bulldogs. Number 56, Julian Del Cruz, is on the tackle for that play. Big third down and five for the, the WKC Panthers. They come up to the line, break the huddle tight. We got Casey Malkany in the backfield. For the WKC Panthers as the up back. Handoff. Balls on the ground. Recovered by Waukegan. First and 10 from the 23 yard line going in. Change of possession. Oh, maybe not. They're calling it fourth down. Simultaneous possession. Panthers have a fourth down, a big fourth down to go. They're in punt formation. WKC is in punt formation. Number two, Emmanuel Crawford drops back for the Waukegan Bulldogs to receive this punt. Looks like number nine. Jackson Wise from the WKC Panthers to punt the ball away. Ball start on the offense for the WKC Panthers. They're going to move it back five yards. Still fourth down, fourth and long nine. Still to punt the ball away. There's number two, number 16 for the Waukegan Bulldogs. This is Darian Pope Wallace back also. Still seems a little bit of confusion on the field. 
He snaps out. Potter's getting his set and ready to go. The ball's away. Short kick way off to the right. Takes a very massive bounce in favor of our Keegan Bulldogs, who will take over possession on the 19-yard line, first and 10. While Keegan breaks the huddle. We got six shotgun, six shotgun with Darian Pope Wallace in the backfield barking out the signals. Looks like a cross run to the right by number 24. Looking to get outside. Big stuff down by, oh, a little, little face mask it looks like to me. We'll check the flag on the field. That's number 24. Chris Lefeva on the carry. I'm oh, sorry. That's Xavier Everage on the call on the flat on the carry. Looks like London Hall was the first there to get his hands on the helmet gear, unfortunately. Offset any penalties with a false start or illegal formation, along with a face mask on WKC. Scratch that play. Let's try it again. First and 10 from the 19 yard line. Well, Keegan breaks the huddle. Got a receiver flanked right. Shotgun formation. Trips right, trips right. Single back in the backfield. Looks like a run off to the right side. Oh, double reverse. Looking up the field, making a tackle. Tough tackle right down about the 12-yard line. The Waukegan Bulldogs are coached by Mike Tharp. He's the head coach out there. Bringing them in on a, a winning streak, going on the road. Playing all three weeks to move forward. They're both evenly matched teams with a 5-4 and four record. The three seed, the, walk, the Junior Panthers, with a number six and three record. We got a single back pistol. Loaded right. Run left to the oh, quarterback keeper up the middle. Down to about the five yard line. Tackled by number 11, Casey McCallany from the, w, the WKC Panthers. Plays coming in, snapping the huddle. So they come up to the line with a first and goal from the six yard line. Back in the pistol formation, loaded on the right side. Looks like there's going to be a timeout. Timeout by the Junior Bulldogs. This game so far for the, the Junior Bulldogs has been to have a heavy dose. Uh, number 24, Xavier Evans, has been getting the ball quite a bit at the start of this game. It's now time for that WKC Panther team to step up and play some defense sitting at that six-yard line. Big stop here. Only a minute 52 left in the first quarter as we take a break as they wind down for these timeouts. As we break from the timeout, we see WKC coming off the sidelines. I'm sorry, that's Wakanda, or uh, Waukegan coming off the sidelines. Defense is down and ready to get this big stop. First to go from the six yard line. Pistol formation right. Overload, I'm um, left, sorry. Run right up the middle, off tackle. 
Bowls through a couple people for a Waukegan touchdown. Once again, that's number 24, Xavier Evans on the carry to get the Waukegan Bulldogs on the, on the scoreboard. Now lined up to go for the one point or two point try. Are they gonna kick the ball? Or are they gonna go for the simple one? Remember the TCYFL rules for youth football is if I go for the kick, it's two points. If I go for the possession, I try and punch it in from the two yard line, it's just one. They opt to go for the one point try. Under center this time, quarterback sneak right up the middle. Looks like they're short. So at 6 nothing, with a minute 45 left in the game, the Junior Bulldogs take the lead of the WKC Panthers. WKC Panthers will come back with the ball on the 35-yard line, looking to equal, this, equal the score. WKC attempts to run to the right side and just snuffed out by the Waukegan defense. Looks like number 16 and number 55 on the tackle there. Number 16 is Darian Pope Wallace and number 55 is Giancarlo Arzamandi. This Waukegan defense has been pretty stuffed, so pretty, pretty uh, tight so far. Looking to fill those holes. They break the huddle. I backfield, barking out the signals. They go on two, looking to get us to the off bounds. With a timeout by the coach. Trying to get that overzealous Waukegan defense to jump. Unsuccessful and forced to call a timeout. Second and 10, 44.5 seconds left in the first quarter. You have your Waukegan Bulldogs six, your WKC Panthers zero. After the timeout, WKC comes up to the ball under center. Number 20, 70, 26, Drzezinski under the center, barking out the signal, full house backfield, looking to run to the right. Nothing given for that Wells Keegan Bulldog defense, swarming them down with for little to no gain. That Waukegan defense has been very stout by great play by the defensive ends. Linebackers feeling pretty hard. It's now third and 10. We got a wing backfield with an eye. Looking to run to the left again. Unblocked, coming to make the tackles. Number 44. That's Jamal Brown on the tackle in the backfield. It's now fourth and 11. Fourth and 12, roughly. We have now finished the first quarter. We have the Waukegan Junior Bulldogs, six, WKC Panthers, zero.
you're getting ready to return back to the to the play. WKC's got a big fourth and twelve. What have they decided to do? They're gonna go for it or they're gonna punt it away. Looking to hold the the Waukegan Bulldogs tight into their own own zone. Nine minutes on the clock. It's getting ready to start the second quarter. Number nine, Jackson Wise drops back for the punt. Number two, number 26 are back to receive the punt for the Waukegan Bulldogs. The punt's away. It's a good punt this time. Fielded on a clean, clean play by number 24, Xavier Evans. Still on his feet, looking to get outside, trying to run away from a tackle. Finally taken down at the 44-yard line. However, a flag comes flying in at the play. Looks like there's a preliminary call. It's a face mask, but it looks like on the Junior Bulldogs, potentially. Correction, they're calling that a holding on the Junior Bulldogs during the return. Didn't catch a number there. The Junior Bulldogs take over from the 48-yard line, looking to put another one in. They already have the lead, 6-0. 8.36 left in this quarter. WKC needs to stop here now. The Junior Bulldogs break the huddle. In that pistol offense, loaded heavy to the left. Looks like a false start on the Junior Bulldogs. They get started just a little bit early. I think the quarterback was looking for the ball. The center was looking for it to go on two, potentially. Now they got a five additional yards marked off. Still first and 15, still first down. Well, Keegan breaks the huddle on that traditional pistol set. Heavy left. Sniffer back up front. Zabian's get the carry again. Looks like he got a lot of that penalty yards back and some. Looks like it's going to be about a nine-yard carry. It's going to make it second and roughly about five, five and a half for the Bulldog offense. Well, Keegan breaks the huddle. They're headed to the line of scrimmage. Xavier Evans in the backfield. Julian Alvarez barking out the signals. Just to his left, he's got his fullback. Looks like a timeout for Waukegan. Trying to get as many numbers out here as I can call. It's tough to see from up here to see who's making those defensive plays. Both teams are swarming to the ball. It's tough to see who's making those calls. Take this time out. We remember this is the 3A Super Bowl championship between the WKC Junior Panthers and the Waukegan Bulldogs. The Panthers come in as the number three seed with, with a regular season record of six and three. They are the home team. The Waukegan Bulldogs come as the four seed with a five and four regular seed record. The ball snap or ball set. They're ready to go. Still in that same pistol formation. Quarterback keeper running to the left. 
Looks like number seven, Layden Hall on a big tackle there. Just a little too much. Give him the first down for the Waukegan Bulldogs. Waukegan seems to like that left side of, of the uh, WKC defense. Continues to run towards that left. Well, Keegan breaks the huddle. Back in that that set, just as I say it, they look like they're heavy right. That, that fullback's lined out to the right. Oh, counter back to the left. Big tough high run, still going with a host of the Panthers on that tackle. Last one up from the pile. Is number 30. I think he may have initiated that tackle. Number 30 is uh, Ivan Mas Masica from the Panthers. Walk Egan's coming up. And that pistol formation, heavy left again. Fullback right up directly next to the quarterback. They got a back in the backfield plus the tight end. Ball snapped out, it's out, covered up. Fumbles covered up by uh, Xavier Evans. Big loss for them on that third down. Makes it third down and seven, roughly. Big play to try and keep the momentum for these Waukegan Bulldogs. But on that flip side, it looks like those WKC Panthers could use a big stop here. Get the ball back and try and tour tie this thing up before halftime. We got the clock running at just about five minutes, 15 seconds with your with the Waukegan Bulldogs up 6-0 over the WKC Panthers. They break the huddle, they come to the line. Looks like we're stripped out. We got twins to the left. Still in that pistol offset. Looks like it's looks like it'll be a handoff. Looks to be some confusion in the backfield. Quarterback's running with the ball. Gets outside. It was just tackled just about the 50 yard line. That's Julian Alvarez on the keeper. It brings up about a fourth and three. Now it's decision time for those Waukegan Bulldogs. What are we going to do? We got about half the field. They're moving the offense. The ref signals they are going for it. Big down for the WKC Panthers. Fourth and three. Trying to get a big stop to get this ball back. The defense is ready. Eager to make a play. You can hear the fans getting on their feet. Getting excited for a big stop by these WKC Panthers potentially. Waukegan snaps, breaks the huddle. Back in that pistol formation or heavy left. Fullback up front. Snap to the quarterback. Looks like quarterback keeper trying to go off the left side. Looks like they're short. And the WKC Panthers will take over on offense. On a 48-yard line. Three minutes, 58 seconds left in the second half, second quarter. You got a Bulldog six-point six lead with WKC getting the ball, hoping to tie this up, potentially take the lead. WKC is in a traditional eye with a split wing to the left. Looks like a quarterback keeper coming out to the side. Looks to dip inside. Nothing out there. Trying to get outside. 26 hitting in the sideline. Shoved out of bounds by number 24. Big carry by number 20. Big carry by number 26 trying to get the corner. Looks like we're just about a, a yard. No, just about even. So it looks like second and 10 from here. We've been calling number 26 his name quite a bit, and I think we say Drizanowski. I'm not real positive on that one. I'll try to get some at halftime to make sure I pronounce the young man's name right. He's hustling his butt off. He deserves it. Number 11 is your fullback. That's Casey McKenney. Back in that eye formation, going left. Looks going right.
That was Jacob Duffy on the carry trying to get something, but it looks like there is a flag on the play. And you've got Waukegan choosing to decline it. So it now brings up a third and 10 from just about the 49 yard line on the Panther side of the field. Looking to get something started here. A little something off tackle. This Waukegan defense has been stingy, stingy, stingy today. Clock's running at three minutes and 20 seconds as the, the Panthers come up to the line. We got a full house backfield. Looks like the handoff straight up the gut. Looks like a four yard run. by Jax Keebler. Looks like Keebler's down on the play, unfortunately. As a tradition here in the TCYFL, to show respect for our falling opponents, we grab a knee. Get down and make sure that he's okay. Looks like Keebler's up to his feet and headed off to the sideline after a tough, hard run. Tough run up the middle for Keebler. Signal the ball back in the play. Landon Hall has replaced Keebler coming in the backfield. They break the huddle and come to the line. Going back to the eye backfield with the split back to the right. While Keegan's got a bunch of guys up to the line of scrimmage looking for this fourth down conversion. 26 is back to pass. Balls away. Completed pass to number 45. Brought down just about the 31 yard line. Pass complete to Cole Cullen for a nice pickup. They have to have first and 10, just about the 32 yard line. Nice positive play for them. Direct snap. Ball's a little low, so he's got to get down and grab it. And unfortunately, that's the spot directly from there. Looks like a loss of four. Second down and about 14 yards to go. WKC came out in a really loaded left set in that last, last possession or last uh, attempt. We're back to a full house backfield now. Barking out the signals. Run off to the left side. Good positive yards. Got back the loss. Just about back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a little more positive from there. Brings up about a third down and 10 for the WKC Panthers. Nathan Drisnowski. It's been a signal call all game, running this offense as best he can. I formation, split back to the right. Looks like they got him on the hard count. Encroachment on the Waukegan defense. There's now 47 seconds left in the second quarter. Third and five for your WKC Panthers. Trying to punch this one in before they go to halftime. There you see, has two timeouts left, and then now while uh, Keegan is making the time, calling a timeout. While well, Keegan defense doesn't like the momentum that the WKC Panthers are getting, moving the ball down the field, seem to get some rhythm. 
WKC fans are trying to tie, punch this one in before we get to half. As we come out of the timeout, remember we got a third and five. Just about 42 seconds left on the in the on the game clock in the second quarter. We got a full house backfield for the WKC Panthers. While Keegan's up to the line of scrimmage, looking to stop this and looking to take this over. As they run left, same play right off the left hand side, getting the first down, tackled about the 13 yard line. That's Jacob Duffy on a, the carry for a first down. Looks like we got another timeout. WKC is now taking the timeout with 33 seconds left on the clock. Whistling back in the play after the timeout. WKC has a first and 10 from about the 14-yard line, trying to look to punch this ball in the end zone before they before halftime. Full house back for it once again. Full house backfield running right again. Might as well stay out to the left. Continue to go. It looks like a five-yard gain. And a hurry-up offense for the WKC Panthers. Looked like they may have called two plays in the huddle. Trying to get this next play off or they still got time left in the second quarter. 16 seconds left in the play. Rolling out. Rolling out to the right. Nobody there yet. Nobody there yet. Decides to tuck it. He's going to make it in the end zone. Touchdown! Nathan Drusnowski on the wrong quarterback keeper. Around the right side. Looking the whole time. Decided nobody open, I'm going to take it myself. Scampers into the quarter of the end zone to make a tie ball game. 2.4 seconds left in the second quarter. Now we now have a ball game. WKC is going for the single point. Looking to take the lead into half. This is an untimed down. We're a power eye right, power eye right left. Ball's given to 88 up the middle. Snuffed in the background to keep it a tie ball game. 2.4 seconds left in the quarter. Getting ready to go into half. Looks like Waukee gonna have one play before we go into halftime. That's the way to answer back for those WKC Panthers. Time to game up, six to six. 2.4 seconds left in the second quarter. What a great ball game we have. In the fifth ball game of the day, we can call on from Mundelein High School Stadium with the TCYFL Super Bowl broadcast, the Chicago and Youth Football Association League, sorry. The refs are going to go right to half. They're not even giving Rock Higgins the opportunity. Rock Higgins may have said, I'm going to take it to half from there. We're going to break for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We're live here at Monoline High School for our fifth game of the day. The 3A featherweight Big Ten Super Bowl between the Junior Panthers and the Waukegan Bulldogs. 
You got about eight, min eight and a half minutes before the boys are back on the field. Enjoy your time, stretch your legs, get something to eat. We'll be back to join you just at the start of the third quarter.
Welcome back to Motherland High School. Getting ready to start the second half as the time expires from halftime. We got a tight ball game here. You got your number three seed at six and three, the Junior Panthers, with a six point plunge right before halftime. Just two seconds left on the clock when they scored. And the number four seed, the Waukegan Bulldogs, at five and four for this year at six also. WKC gets the ball to start the second half. See if they can build the momentum from the first half they had. They seem to find something with number 88. Jacob Duffy on the last possession. Let's see what they got here. Running to that full house backfield. Getting chunks of yards. Let's see how they come out in the second half. What adjustments has that Bulldog defense made? It's number 55 gets out there looking to see what he's going to do off, that, off to his right-hand side. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage for the WKC Bulldogs. Full house backfield, barking out the calls. Looks like it's a run to the right. It's number two. That's Jax Keeble on the run. Looking like he got just about four yards. Second and seven from the 39-yard line. WC breaks the huddle and comes up to the ball. That Waukegan defense already ready. Staying in that full house backfield. Seems like something's working for there. Run to the left this time. Wow, the power moves forward just short of a first down, though. Looks like it's going to bring about a third and one. Couldn't tell the ball carry in there, but he was taken down by a host of Waukegan Bulldogs. Number two jumps up the foul. Jax Keebler with the ball. Good high run for just about a gain of another four yards. Third and one from the 44-yard line for the WKC Panthers. Waukegan seems to need to find something to stop that full house backfield. Right back at it they come. Full house backfield. Jax Keebler's deep. Drzanowski's barking the calls out. Looking to run off the left-hand side. Big, tough stuff stop by the Waukegan defense. No gain no brings up a fourth and one for the WKC Panthers. And they're going to go for it. Trying to make a statement on this first drive. Can that Waukegan defense step up? Can they hold fast and get a turnover to keep this ball, to keep this, end this threat that WKC is bringing on? WKC breaks the huddle. They're still back in that full house backfield. Looking to pound it off, tackle some more. Linebacker steps up for Waukegan, looking like they're going to try and go left. Oh, they go off the tackle. Looks like it's going to be short once again. Look at the spot. Oh, referees are calling it a first down. Good time, high run for a gain of one. First down from the 45-yard line. Again, another bunch of Waukegan tacklers there to keep him stingy, but just not enough to keep him out of that first down marker. First and 10 from the 45-yard line for the WKC Panthers. Panthers break their huddle. Eyeing wing, wing, wing right for them. Looks like a quarterback keeper. Looks like there might have been a little confusion in the backfield. Still gets positive yards for about two or three. Looks like just about just about a three yard gain on that carry. There's an Oski who was the ball carrier. Looks like there's a little mix up in the backfield of which way they're gonna go there. Kind of looks like they're supposed to go to the up back. You got a referee timeout. Looks like there might be an injured player on the field. The great TCYFL training staff is heading over to make sure that player is okay. 
Looks like he's a lot of got a little limp to his step as he's coming off the field. Referee signal spotted for play. WKC breaks the huddle. Second down and just about seven yards. Make that a long seven yards. Trying to continue this drive. We're back to the lobbying right. Quarterback keeper again, straight up the middle. Looks like he's getting a big push. Kind of breaks out of the middle, just short of the first down. It looks like it's going to be third and one. Going into the Bulldog, 46-yard 40 line. Third down and one. As they seem to have found a push straight up the middle also. WKC is coming up to the ball once again. In that eye wing right formation. Number 11, Casey McCollin is your up back. Lead blocker all day. Quarterback keeper right off the right side for a first down. Breaking tackles, brought down just about the 40 yard line. Looks like it was brought down by Alex Hallett. Number 88 on that play. Big defensive tackle for the Waukegan Bulldogs. Waukegan defense is looking for something they need to stop here. Trying to come keep going right off tackle. Waukegan breaks their huddle. Back to a full house backfield. Barking out the signals, they run right. Off tackle, breaks us through the hole. Nice hard run. Looks like 11 yards for number two, Jax Keebler, for another WKC first down. Timeout for Waukegan. They got to find a stop for this WKC Panthers offense. Waukegan takes a timeout, gets her troops together, looking to stop this drive to then get the ball back. Wrestling referees make the signal for ready for play. Teams break their timeouts, come on the field. Those Waukegan Bulldogs working hard to get a stop here. Waukegan breaks their huddle. Looks like they're going with what works. Right back in that full house backfield. You got Keebler back as the back, as the tailback. Going off tackle right again. Keeper looks for a hole. Looks to be met for just about a two-yard gain. Tackled by a bunch of Waukegan Bulldogs. Rolling up from the pile. Looks like number 21, Avian Cole, was the first one to get there. Well, he comes back out. They're in an Eileen right. Eileen right. They found success off the right hand side. They go in there again. Nope. Quarterback keeper straight up the middle. Looks like a pretty good game. Just short of the first down. Third down and one, we'll call it. About a five yard gain for that quarterback. Looking for a seam. Taking the ball down. Five yard gain. There's now a flag on the play. Looks like the referees are having a discussion about the flags for. 
might be getting a little upset about this offensive drive that's taking us most of this second quarter. we got two minutes and 30 seconds left in this third quarter. The, sky, the score is tied. WKC Panthers 6, while King and Bulldogs 6. Brings up a third down and one. Trying to drive it through. Referee picks up their flags. Looks like we give a little bit of a warning. Telling these boys it's if this is a game, show our sportsmanship and what football is all about. WKC is looking to call a play. They just need about a third yard run. We've seen in the past on that third yard down, that quarterback likes to keep it just off one of the guards. Full house backfield to the right. Barks out the signals. Looks like it's going to be Kiva right up the middle as he showed to the first down. Just got enough for the first down. First attempt from the 20-yard line for the WKC Panthers. Looks like Kiva in another tough run, going off the right side and getting the first down as needed. Keeping this drive alive. One minute and 34 seconds left in the quarter. WKC has had this ball this entire quarter. Driving it down the field methodically. Looks at a full back for left. Quarterback barks out the signals. We're going to run to the left. Met by a host of Waukegan Bulldogs. Looked like Jacob Duffy on the carry there. We'll see who's coming up from the pile for Waukegan. Looks like we got our Keegan player down. That could be a big one. That's the quarterback, Julian Alvarez, down on the field right now. Everybody respect taking a knee for an injured player. Trainer's coming out to make sure he's okay. Looks like they're helping him up off the field. Looks like he's walking a little gingerly with the trainer off the field. Nice round of applause by both fans that the injured player comes off the field successfully. Maybe just a little shaken up. Maybe got his foot trapped underneath him. Who knows? While Keegan needs to find something to stop the WKC offense. We got a second and nine right now. WKC is also has a player coming off the field for a little bit of an injury. Looks like that's number nine, Jackson Wise, being brought over to the bench. Number seven's replacing him, which is Landon Hall. We had a second down and nine, WKC Panthers, on the 19-yard line, looking to take the lead in this game. It's been all WKC Panthers since just about three minutes left in the second quarter. We got a Iowa right. Quarterback keeper going right up behind the guard on the left-hand side, looking to make a gain. Gets about two to three yards right around that thing. It brings the third down and six from about the 15-yard line. Looks like the clock may run out. We got 25 seconds left in this third quarter of a really good football game, highly contested. Can the Wakanda Bulldogs find something to stop this WKC Panthers who have had the ball this entire third quarter? Just about 10 seconds left as we're coming down. They're running it to quarter. The ref says, as we take a break, what a great football game. You got your number four, Wakanda Bulldogs, six. And the home team, your WKC Panthers, the number three seed, six going into the fourth quarter of another really good football game at the TCYFL broadcast of the Super Bowl Saturday.
We come back in ready for the fourth quarter. Got a big third down for the WKC Bulldogs, or WKC Panthers, forgive me. And I think I actually may have called sometime today the Waukegan Bulldogs, the Wakanda Bulldogs, so forgive me for that. Both of the guys are Bulldogs, and both of the guys are purple. So we do have the Waukegan Bulldogs out here, the number four seed. Looking to make a big defensive stop as we start the fourth quarter. Third down, roughly about six yards to go. Looks like WKC's coming out, and that full house backfield to the left. Corvette's barking the signals. Going off the left-hand side. Stopped in the backfield. Big hit. Looks like that might have been Jamal Brown on the tackle. I think it was 44. Big tackle on the backfield. Brings up a big fourth down. Fourth down and seven. WKC Panthers need to get this for the first down. Trying to punch this in to take the lead. WKC breaks the huddle. They got an island right. Running off the right hand side. Oh, quarterback keeps it. Tricked me also. Big stop in the backfield. Turnover on downs. Stopped at about the 14 yard line. While Keegan gets the ball back. Seven minutes, 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Can they take the ball down and take the lead? WKC had a long drive with nothing to show for it, unfortunately. But now it's time to play defense. Your Panthers are on D. Joaquin's lining up, plays coming in from the sideline. House backfield, number seven is running with the ball, quarterback keeper. Looks like a very short gain for a gain of two or three. O'Connor's running the ball. Looks like quarterback off to the right. Looks like he's got an opening. Big tackle, just about the 22 yard line. Big third down and one for the Junior Bulldogs. Snap is low, ball's fumbled, covered up by the Bulldogs. Looks like they got a couple yard loss in a play, just about the 21 yard line, making it about a fourth and three. While Keegan has decided to punt the ball. Line up, remember in the featherweight rules, there's no rush on the punt, so it's a free drop punt. Can't tell who's back for the WKC Panthers. The punt's away, looks like a good punt. A little off sides. Looks like WKC's got a lot of room. Looks like that might not be number two, might be a little. Just about the 18 yard line. There's Jax Keeble on a good run back. 
setting that WKC Panther offense right back up for just about the 14-yard line going in. There is a flag in appeal, so we'll wait to see what's happening. Looks like the penalty was on Waukegan, and they've declined. So it's from the 19-yard line, first and 10 from the 19-yard line, the WKC Panthers take over after a long return by Jack Skeever on that punt. Full house backfield to the left. Run to the left. Goes out the field. Kiva's got a seam. 5, 10, touchdown! We're back with the home. Keebler gets rewarded after a very great punt return. Getting the ball, running off left. Huge hole as he comes through. Makes a tackle miss, breaks a tackle. Gets in for the touchdown to take the lead for the WKC Panthers. Been on time down. Panthers are going for one to make it a seven point lead. Full house backfield. Keeble's in the backfield again. Drakazanowski is in the under center. Hand off to Keeble again, looking to run to that left. Pushing the pile into the end zone for the extra point. Making it a seven point lead as the WKC P Panthers score with four minutes, 53 seconds left in the game. 14. Six. Panthers over the Waukegan Bulldogs as Waukegan comes out to take the next possession. Four minutes and 51 seconds left in the ball game. So they, uh, Waukegan takes the ball. We're looking at that power eye left, overloaded left, pistol formation. Looks like a quarterback keeper. Nothing given as the Panthers defense swarms for no gain. We got a second down and 10. WKC has come alive. Looking to stop and get the ball back. With four minutes and 14 seconds left in the game, it's second and 10 as the Bulldogs break the huddle. And that familiar pistol formation. Sorry, we're back under center. Well, pistol formation. Running back set to the left. Twins to the right. Center snap. Looks like a deep pass. Ball broken up just at the nick of time. A little trickeration there as the quarter quarterback was lined off as a receiver in that play. Looking to go deep and tie this ball game up right away. Three minutes and 51 seconds left in the game in quarter number four. Your WKC Panthers lead your Waukegan Bulldogs 13 to 6. Been a greatly contested game. WKC has come out real hot in the second half. Bulldogs are trying to find their footing as we go into this third down situation, third and 10. We got twins to the left. Running back set to the quarterback's right. Direct snap to the quarterback, looking to pass. Ball's up in the air, falls short to bring up a fourth down.
Big play for both teams coming up here. Fourth down, three minutes, 47 seconds left on the clock. Pretty sure Waukegan doesn't want to give this ball back. WKC has shown they have ball possession all second half. Doesn't want to give them the ball. Big fourth down here for these Bulldogs. Can they rally out? The Twins right formation, bunch right formation. Bunch left formation. Timeout, Waukegan. Looking to get lined up for this important fourth down play. Waukegan takes a timeout. You got a timeout with three minutes, 47 seconds left in the clock. The WKC Panthers, 13. The Waukegan Bulldogs, 6. Well, Keegan comes out of the huddle, comes out of the timeout with only one timeout remaining. We have three minutes, 47 seconds left on the clock. A big fourth down and 10 for these Bulldogs. We're jumbo to the left, to the right. Seems to be some confusion on the field. The false start on the offense, backing them up five yards for now making that fourth down conversion and even longer, fourth and 15. Bulldogs need this, need this first down to keep their drive alive. WKC has a big play here. We're bunched to the right. Quarterback's barking out the signal. Quarterback behind him. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Big sack in the backfield. By number 23, Devin, De Devin Grasso making a big sack in the time measure. WKC takes the ball over, first and 10 from the 26 yard lines going in. Three minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. WKC has the lead, looking at Tamar to put this game away. WKC breaks the huddle, headed up to the line. Back in that familiar power eyes backfield. They've been running full house all day. Set to the right this time, barking out the signals. Quarterback right up the middle on a quick snap. Trying to catch the Waukegan Bulldogs off guard for just about two or three yards. Just about two yards as the clock continues to run. Well, Kiki's got one timeout left and needs to get a stop here to get the ball back to try and tie this game up. WKC's plays coming in. Panthers sideline starting to feel it. They got the ball control offense. Getting ready to get the snap off at about two minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Waiting for the referee's 10 count. Using as much time on the clock as I can. That familiar full house backfield. Jacob Duffy's in the backfield. Wonder if he's getting the ball coming off to the left here. WKC tells the timeout. Use as much time on the clock as they can. There's two minutes and 25 seconds left in this game with WKC leading the game 13 to six or the Wakanda Bulldogs. Waukegan Bulldogs that was, my apologies.
as they finish up this timeout for WKC. A reminder that we have two more games left after this. We got the 2A Feather Championship between the North Chicago Flames and the McHenry Junior Warriors. They'll come up right after this. After we figure out in this heavily contested game, very close, good matchup between these two teams. Well, Keegan's looking for a stop here. Junior Bulldogs need to get the ball back to try and tie this game up. While well, Keegan comes to the line of scrimmage, they're eye wing right, eye wing left, barking out the signals, going off left. Big hit, big hit, big tackle for a short game. Well, Keegan takes her last time out of the game. Very important third down coming up here. Third down and just about five for these WKC Panthers. The Bulldogs are looking to get a stop, get the ball back to try and tie this game up. It starts with this play. You come off from this timeout. It's a big third down for these K WKC Panthers to try and put this ball game away. They get a first down with no timeouts. This ball game could be over. Referee signals the ball for play. The WKC Panthers are feeling it a little bit. Up by seven with just two minutes left in the game, roughly two minutes and six seconds left in the game. They break the huddle and come up to the ball. You got Jack Skeeble in the back who scored the go-ahead touchdown. Full house backfield. Quarterback bobbles the snap but decides to keep it. Coming around the right side. Push out of bounds just short of the first down. Big stop there, big time stop there. But it looks like it's gonna come up a fourth down. Fourth down, just about one for the Panthers. Looks like the rest didn't call him out of play. It's one minute and 35 seconds left in the game. Big fourth down in order for Wakanda to get, uh, Waukegan to get this ball back. WKC is coming up. I think right, quarterback keeper straight up the middle to put the ball away. First down, still pushing the pile forward, just about the 10 yard line. One minute and 14 seconds left in the game to potentially seal the victory for WKC. These Panthers play their butts off and came on the second half, control the ball on offense and shut down the Waukegan Bulldogs on defense. So one minute eight, one minute five left in the game. As they line up in victory formation to take a knee, the rest blow it live. To take a knee with just about 50 seconds left in the clock. The referees say that's enough. The referees say that's enough. The WKC Panthers are your division 3A featherweight gold Super Bowl champions. Oh, they're gonna make him take one more snap. I spoke a little too early. Referee's making sure you get the spot so you can run the clock out by the end. end. And that's gonna end the game. 17 seconds left on the clock. WKC Panthers celebrate a 13 to six win over the Waukegan Bulldogs. Both teams played extremely well. The TCYFL 3A gold championship level decided by a second half touchdown by Jax Keebler after a long punt return to set them up with inside the 20 yard line. We're gonna wrap this game up we have coming up next the 2A featherweight championship between the North Chicago Flames, the number one seed, versus the McHenry Junior Warriors, the number five seed. We'll be back after this.